we have to say you're looking really, really fit and well. You not oh. only have you got your sparkle back, yeah. um, but you you're looking fitter as well. Is it true you're living with fitness trainers? Um, <laughs> that was me who said that. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not. I have had two personal trainers who've been right. training me, which is quite an incentive to get up in the morning. I'll be honest. And yeah, I think exercising, especially when you go through a bit of heartbreak, and if you suffer with depression, as everyone knows, I, I do. Mm. When you train, you feel so much be better about definitely. yourself, and yeah. and I definitely feel so much better about myself. I'm in a really good place. I'm happy. I'm single. I have ready to mingle. Katie Price. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing kisses, yeah, and I'm really, really just happy. And the exercise for me has just been amazing. So, what are you doing? You're going for a run in the morning, and I've that actually sort of thing? been doing CrossFit training, mm -hmm. uh, which is really hard. That's the machine thing? No, that's no, it's the, sort of the, it's press like burpees, press-ups, press oh. weightlifting. Yeah, that's so big hard. thanks to Pete Howe and George and Hogg for doing that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so it's been it's been amazing. Really, really enjoyed it. And okay. it, sorry, go on. I was just going to say, do you weigh yourself? No, I don't okay. weigh myself. I think with all these magazines, I'm sure Kate will agree with me. They have so many. Super, super skinny celebrities on, on the cover of these magazines, and I have four girls, and I think it's the wrong way to promote yeah. successfulness. I think a lot of girls think they have to be skinny to be successful, as long as you're healthy and happy. Yeah, the yeah. average woman in Britain is a size 14, and as long as you're healthy, you know, as long as you feel good in here and up here, who cares what you look no, like? No, quite right. You mention it in terms of your mental health because people too often think of a fitness is to do with your body, it's yeah. to do with your brain as they well. They completely forget so many. And the routine of people getting depressed is they're eating the wrong food, the, you know, the mm. couch, the sat in front of the TV, watching TV all day, feeling miserable about themselves. As soon as you change your eating habit and you exercise, only like 15 minutes a day, 20 minutes yeah, a day, yeah. that's all you have to do. And I've got five kids and I can do it and I've got no childcare. And Kate had one of the amazing meals. It was really nice. Was all it amazing? <laughs> oh, it's great. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, you know, I was so hungry. I, saw, I was like, what have you got in your fridge? <laughs> you know, it's, you just got to eat little and often and just change yeah. your pattern of eating. And so many people go to the doctors with depression and a doctor won't even look up and give you this pill, that pill, that pill. And, you know, just... Oh, look at you! Ooh. 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 Do you know yeah. why you're happy as well? Why is that? Go on, Kate, why am I happy? No, no, it's good, because <laughs> you have got the five kids and you're normally the breadwinner. I am. But you need to find a man that... Doesn't she's stress you desperate out. Desperate for me to so get no, because I know she's happy when she's with someone. You need someone mm, who doesn't yeah. stress you out, and this is the happiest I've seen you. You Aww. look good, and you can't wait to get all your hair done tomorrow. And, and we'll, so we'll have a night out. A pro you promised me a night well, out. Listen, you did. You should make it Saturday night because Saturday night is the 13th of uh, February, and they're now calling it Galentine's Day. Because Valentine's Day. All right, let's yeah. not talk about Valentine's <laughs> Day. No, you're saying. No, it's all right, love. But Galentine's right. Day. Apparently, this new thing from the states where girl friends celebrate girlfriends. So that is the night for you Let's two do to do it. Have. <laughs> okay, you do that. We should do that. We'll do that. Yeah. 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 Heart out London. Here we come. But I think men would be intimidated to come up to us, even though I'm taken. But because you're so loud, I'm loud. I think they'd be what scared. What do you mean I'm loud? I'm not loud. I'm quite as a bloody mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Intimidated, or is there any single guys here who'd be interested in Kerry? <laughs> See, they all put their hands up, Kerry. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. I mean, what do you think of the whole thing about you know Galentines? Because is, is it a sort of solid solidarity thing that, for me, I can see that it would work if you if you're both single, because then you're supporting each other. But would you feel uncomfortable going out with you know obviously Katie? You're yeah. really happy. You're in a relationship. Would that work the same way? She for would you? definitely have more fun coming out with me. No offence, Karen. <laughs> but I think whether you've got someone or not, you have yeah. fun. It's good. It doesn't matter yeah. if you've got enough health. We'll have yeah. fun anyway. I, and, well, no. the situation I'm in this year, I definitely think it's a good idea. So I'm mm. off for it. Because <laughs> okay. come on the Sunday, I'll be at home. And I'll look after the kids. I've always said to you as well, I will have your kids if you want a night out. On my own. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I will. Oh, come to us. I always <laughs> say, just come to us. Well, the amount of times I've run Kate up in the past and gone, right, I'm coming right. She goes, but I've never said kids. that, though, but you come said here, that. Come here, come here, come round to us. And we have been round to And that is else. a true friendship. You know, I might yeah. not see Kerry all the time, but if she's ever in trouble or anything, or mm. you need, a, like, a decent friend's voice, not someone who's just going to say, hear what you want to hear, mm. you, you have been there a few times. Do you listen to her advice? No. You don't? <laughs> Does she listen to mine? Do you listen to mine? You, you've no, said you're like me. We're strong-headed. No. We, we, yeah. Does she give it to you straight, though? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we both do. She, she does, does to me. Yeah. So what advice would you give her now, then, Katie? 
I would say don't right because I'm good at giving advice, but, but I'm she's not at good taking at taking it. it. She isn't. Take your time this time, and just don't jump into. Look, see, that's what people always say to me. <laughs> don't jump into it because I know <clears throat> you deserve someone who absolutely loves you. Remember we spoke at the fair about the film The Notebook? Yes, we did talk on Friday in The Notebook. So you we want, want someone love like that. who <laughs> loves you that much that then they, it's like they've got blinkers on, they're not worried about anything else. Mm. To me, that is what love is, and, and that's Ke what you need. And Kerry, you, you said before, you know, tr true friendship is being able to fall out with yeah. each other and get back together oh, again. And you, out, yeah. well, you've said before that <coughs> one of the reasons was is that Katie does give you strong advice, yeah, but right, that, you, you weren't yeah, ready, <laughs> that you weren't ready to hear it. Do you think yeah, you're ready I, now? I think it wasn't that I was I wasn't ready. I, d I was in denial. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't realise I had an addiction myself. Yeah. Darren, I'll tell you this. And no matter your closest friends, Kate said, you know, he's no good for you. You 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 becoming basically a druggie. Yeah. So I started slagging her off, and it, you know, and at that time you don't until you can see it yourself and you're ready to get the help. Yeah. You're ready to yeah, get help. You don't want to no hear one, it. No one, not me mum, no one could tell me. Nobody until you you can see it for yourself. Well, yeah. good. We're glad you're ready. Thank you. Thank you.